when family members pass away, you know, this family member wants that, this family member wants this and this and that. I just wanted this suitcase. My mother didn't know her father. She was an infant. My grandmother never talked about her husband and he was forgotten until I opened up the suitcase. The kind of picture that started to form in my head was an actual picture. I found a picture of him. And you know, so you're looking at him in his uniform and you're looking at the gloss in his eyes. You're looking at some resemblance and you're looking at this, his rank on his uniform. He did not fit the stereotype that you knew of uh, black Americans or African Americans who served in the war. I mean, based on the picture and based on his writing and based on his training and based on his rank at a young age. All of her memories, the important events I've come to know now that I've been in a suitcase was stored in that suitcase. There is a letter from him to my grandmother and there's a fierce war going on at that time. Uh, but you didn't get any of that through the letter, other than unselfishly, he said, I know it must be a lot for you to be raising the two children alone. I miss you, and when I come back, I'm gonna be the best man I can be. There is a map that is in his records that clearly shows where bombs could be or bombs have been identified and so his route to where his ultimate destination was in Germany kind of gave me a sense of what was ahead of him or what he had to deal with. You know, these soldiers did not die in vain. Uh, that people are um, free because of them. People have lives because of these soldiers and I as an American I just feel proud that we have those servicemen that are buried there and uh, they haven't been forgotten.